Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Cakes by Sharon. Today I'm creating the spirited female Lego character Wildstyle from the new Lego movie. If you haven't already seen my tutorial on the main character Emmett, you can click on his picture to view it. And I'll also be doing some of the other characters from the Lego movie as well in the coming weeks. So I'm using this template today of Wildstyle and you can get a copy of this in the description box below. I've got a board which I've covered, an 8 inch round cake, my fondant roller, a cake smoother, I've got a sharp knife, my pizza cutter, an offset spatula, a small palette knife, my exacto blade, I've also got a black and red edible marker, I've got a 1 inch and quarter inch round cutter, I've got a paintbrush with a little bit of water, I've got some white chocolate ganache to cover the cake and I've got some black, pink, yellow, a little bit of white, blue and red fondant today. Now the pink and the blue fondant I've mixed using some fluorescent food colouring today which glows in the dark. I'm also using a length of wire and my pliers. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is taking our template and placing it on top of the cake we need to trim off any areas. Now Wild Style, the shape of her head pretty much covers a full 8 inch cake and I just need to trim off the bottom of the neck and to the hairline. So just with the sharp knife holding it vertically to get nice straight edges cut in along the template and of course down the front. Now to get the Lego neck all I need to do is insert my knife about a centimetre of the way through the cake and cut along and then from the front of the cake slowly insert the knife and remove this piece of cake. Now I'm going to cover my cake with some of my white chocolate ganache. This gives an extra added flavour as well as a nice base for the fondant to stick to. So make sure you cover the whole entire cake top and sides getting into all the creases and once you've got a nice covering pop it in the fridge about 15 minutes to set. So now a pink Lego board is not really conventional but something for the girls. I'm going to show you how to create a pink looking Lego board without a mold. So I'm just rolling out my fondant to about 3 to 4 mil thick and using my 1 inch round cutter I'm going to cut a series of circles. And then using my paintbrush and water, just a little bit of water to the back of one of the circles and I'm going to start lining up my circles onto my board vertically and then across the board horizontally. So we start to create that Lego board effect. Because I'm going to put the cake in the centre of the board, I don't really need to cover it with all of the pink circles. So I'm just going to use my template as a guide as to whereabouts on the board I need to attach all of my circles. So I'm just going to work around the template. And you can see once we've finished with the circles, the cake's going to sit nicely in the centre. Now I'm going to create Wildstyle's little ponytail and I haven't included a template for this because I'm going to leave it up to you to fit it according to the size of your board. So all we need to do is roll out some black fondant, leave it fairly thick, about 5mm so we can have it enough strength once we've inserted it with the wire. And just with your X-Acto blade just cut out the shape of her ponytail. Just look at the picture as a guide. And then use your template on your board to see if you're happy with the size of the ponytail you've cut out. Next I'm going to take my length of wire and cut it about 10 centimetres long because I'd like to have a, quite a length inserted into the cake. And then I'm going to insert it into the ponytail on a bit of an angle so that I get across the width of the ponytail. Then to create the lines and look of her Lego hair I'm going to make some creases into the ponytail with the back of my paintbrush and leave the ponytail aside to dry. Now that I've taken my cake out of the fridge it's formed a crust on top and I'm just going to smooth over the ganache. So using some boiling water and my offset spatula I'm going to heat up the spatula in the water, clean off any excess and smooth it over the surface of the cake. Now I'm going to work on the face so I'm going to roll out my yellow fondant to about 1-2mm to two mils thick and then I'm going to place my template on top which I've cut to separate the hair and the face and then using my pizza cutter I'm going to cut along the top and around the sides leaving enough to drape over the front side of the cake. So now before I place the yellow fondant I'm going to take my template and place it on top of the cake and score a line at the top of the template with my sharp knife. 
then just line up the fondant with that line and gently lower the fondant over the cake. And then using the cake smoother, I'm going to smooth across the top and along the neck of Wild Style and opening up the fondant around the sides and using my palms to achieve a nice smooth edge. Now using my blade, I'm going to trim the fondant up against the edge of the cake and put it aside. Now I'm going to work on the black section of Wild Style's hair. So it's just a matter of simply rolling out the black fondant and using the template as a guide to cut around the top part of the stencil, leaving enough to cover the top front of the cake. And then gently with my blade go around the front of her hairline and then gently lifting up the fondant onto my roller, I'm going to line up the yellow and the black fondant and slowly drape the black fondant over the top of the cake. Then I'm going to open up the fondant around the edges and smooth it down the sides and then I'm going to trim off the excess using my pizza cutter first and continue smoothing with my cake smoother and then a final cut with my blade right up towards the edge of the cake. Now I'm going to transfer the cake onto the cake board. While the fondant is still soft I'm going to create the impressions in the Lego hair. So using the back of my paintbrush the same way as we did with the ponytail I'm going to create some lines across her hair. So starting with her side part and then following the template as a guide as to the curve of her hair just going to create those indentations over the front and sides of the cake. Now to create the two neon streaks in her hair just going to roll out first some blue fondant into a long snake just use the template as a guide to measure it and I'm just going to use my knife to cut the fondant on both ends on an angle so I get a nice sharp point then position it from the center of her side part down along the front of the cake and I'm just going to trim off the excess maintaining that sharp point at the end and then using my finger I'm going to smooth as well as flatten out the blue fondant so that I can make it about a centimeter broad to match the template and copy the whole process again to create her pink neon streak in her hair. To create her eyes now I'm just going to use the quarter inch cutter and cut two circles out of the fondant which I've rolled and then to create the bottom of her eye just going to use the cutter to take off a little bit of the bottom round part of the eye. Now to position them on the cake in the right spot I've just cut the eyes out of the template and placing it over the cake I'm just going to make a mark using the back of my paintbrush. Now using those marks as a guide I'm just going to position the eyes onto the cake. Now for the eyebrows, I've just cut the eyebrows out of my other copy of my stencil and I'm just going to trace around them and then position them on the cake also. The cake comes together quite quickly now and to just make her eyelashes, I'm just going to roll out a long skinny snake of fondant and use the template as a guide to create the shape. It's kind of like a little bit of an S and then a little extra eyelash half the size of the original one. For the mouth I've just cut out my stencil and trace around it over the top of my red fondant and then cutting out the stencil further just so that I get the teeth. I'm just going to cut that out of the white fondant then place the white fondant over the top of my red fondant. Before placing it on the cake I'm just going to use my black edible marker to create that little black line which gives her quite a little bit of a cheeky grin and then I'm just going to place the mouth on top of the cake using two tiny little balls of white fondant I'm just going to press them onto her eyes to create the reflection and then using the red edible marker this time I'm going to mark her cheek line as well as the freckles on both sides of her face. The very last thing I need to do is insert the ponytail and I'm going to press it from the top downwards into the cake and just let it sit on the edge of my board so her ponytail is just hanging on an angle there. And there you have it, Wild Style from the new Lego Move. She's perfect to create if you have a little girl who loves Lego. Guys, be sure to keep on the lookout for my upcoming tutorials on some of the other popular Lego Movie characters. If you enjoyed my video, it'd be terrific if you gave it a like and shared the video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fun video tutorials and thanks so much for watching.